Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of the Success Battles walkthroughs. Uh, today we're going to be doing Acid Rain, a fantastic little challenge. Uh, and yeah, let's just get into it. So th the the thought process that I had at least, that well we have like a background color which is pretty simple. We can just change the, the background of the body whatever. Uh, but we have three little like circles or <laughs> almost circles uh, that have like this pointing up here, right? And that's you know not not the not the worst thing in in the entire world I would say, uh, but the but the issue with it is that the last one <laughs> is extremely annoying because it doesn't have the point, uh, because if if the last one would have had like the exact same point, uh, we could use like a box shadow solution to just like create three box shadows and then we would pretty much be done, but it doesn't have it because we can't do it now with box shadows because with box shadows you have to uh, you can't like rotate them because we maybe could like rotate this one and so that it points like down here under the green one, but we can't do that with box shadows. So box shadows wouldn't work here, uh, or at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, because now like what we have to do uh, is, that, or the, the, the solution that I came up with is that the the body, what we do with the body is that we use a radial gradient. Yay, everybody's favorite. A fantastic little tool we can use now for creating uh, like the circles. So we're gonna create a circle over here with the radial gradient and we're gonna like, move it up here. Um, and that's gonna be that. And then we're gonna have like a P tag for this one right here. And then we're going to create a box shadow for it that's going to be like the green one that goes over here. So we're going to have one p tag, uh, and we're going to use a p tag instead of a div just because a p tag is less characters and we go as f low characters as humanly possible. Um, and then the body is going to take care of, uh, on the body, we're going to create a radial gradient that's going to create or take care of the, uh, um, of the background and the circle over here, right? Um, and we're it's probably going to get a little bit more clear when once we actually start doing stuff. So let's start recreating like the background and the circle. So we can remove this lining for the div here. We don't need that. And we don't need you right now. But we can style the body, right? So let's give it a background of uh, a radial gradient, like this. Um, and then we want to go from this color right here to this color right here, right? And now we're going to see that it looks absolutely horrible uh, <laughs> to begin with, right? And that's because of a lot of uh, a couple of different reasons. First of all, let's just create like the actual like stopping, uh, which we saw a lot in like two episodes ago, right? Where we used quite a lot of stops with the circles. And so what we can do by that is we, we can go okay, like say uh, 60 pixels from 60 pixels, then you your transition should start. But we can like hack it out and say okay, this transition should start at zero pixel, and all of a sudden we get a circle, or, or at least somewhat of a circle. It's a oval because the body isn't a square and then uh, it's pretty hard to make a circle inside the square because it has to go like at every direction with 60 pixels uh, which is isn't possible now because um, oh yeah I it's a it's a it's a rectangle we can't it just, just don't work so if we want to specifically make a circle we can just write circle in the beginning here now we can see that we have a circle but we want to move it up a, a bit we want to move it up to the right so I can move that well at the circle part here we can go at and then we can write some pixels, like 40 pixels, uh, and then 40 pixels, right? We can see that it's 40 pixels from the top left. Uh, but this isn't exactly what we want, so the actual pixels we want is 260, right? And then, why is it there? Right, and then 90, right? And now we can see, if I put the diff here, we can see exactly where we want it to be, right? It's extremely smooth, right? So now we have the circle up at the top right. Um, and that's pretty much it with the, with the body. We're not going to touch it anymore. Now we need to create our P tag, which is going to be like... Um, this little other yellow circle uh, at the bottom left, right? And then we're gonna create a little box shadow hack to create the other uh, gr green one up here. Um, so we can take the p tags, and then with the p tags we're gonna give it a width of let's say 120, uh, and then a border radius. Um, or yeah, oh we need a height as well. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I, f I forgot. Uh, <laughs> and then here with the uh, the way that uh, wait, wh why are, are we having to put a background color like that wait let's put a background color so we actually can see it so it makes sense what I'm saying right there we go uh, with the border is we can specify like one value so let's say go 50 pixels right then we're gonna get a circle because it's 50 pixels on our side if I go like 20 pixels you can see that I get 20 pixels on all sides right but what I can do is I can go like 30 pixels and then I can go like 0 pixels right zero like that and then we're gonna get this little like lemon shape which is gonna be super useful Sa this exact hack is gonna be super useful for another challenge that I'm gonna be doing very soon um, yeah but if I go more like zero zero we're gonna see that we're only top left right 
and we want it to be 50% uh, on all sides except for the top right so you can go 50 pixels on all and then we're gonna get the shape because this goes clockwise remember so it's top left uh, top right zero and then 50 pixel or 50 percent on the bottom right and 50 percent on the bottom left now we're gonna be a circle now except for the top, top right uh, and then we have that little oval shape and now if you want to like like you're just moving it so you can go like a margin and then we go in like 150 uh, on the y-axis and then let's go like 72 on the x-axis right and now it's exactly where we want it to be Ta-da! super nice and then to create the, the the last one we can just use the box shadow height asset so box shadow if i just go like 10 pixels and 10 pixels we're gonna see this like let me go a little more so you can actually see it like that we can see we get this little like shadow uh <laughs> that's a little bit creepy that just comes up and then we can now like hack it to be exactly where we want it to be so you can go okay go 60 pixels to the right then go m up 60 pixels again and then it goes where you want it to be and then to change the color we just specify a color here like so and just like that we have saved uh, or have done the challenge if i submit now we should get 100 percent right am i tweaking 100 percent match great 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 uh, but let's see how we can minimize the amount of pixels because i don't think it's that much we can do actually um, yeah but let's just go down as far as we can go so style in the body um, we can actually put a star here i'm pretty sure uh, we can't okay because the star is going to get the html attribute as well uh, so that's that's not good we only want the body uh, but that's fine that's fine no worries no worries um, that and then let's go pixels there move that pixel there or plus i mean not pixel like so and then how far down can we go so width 120 height 120 background border radius margins and then we can remove that and put a plus here and again the pluses don't really change the the amount of characters that we have but i i, I prefer to have it because it makes me it makes it more simple for me to see that I've, okay i've actually cleaned out this uh, but i feel like i am definitely missing something okay i can clean it up somewhere i'm pretty sure um huh. over here i can go and then it must be like there we go that's it 199 and then i submit and we should get 100 characters 199 characters and 100 percent and just like that uh we solved why is it what on earth ah, it's lagging out it's lagging out and this is almost in the leaderboard as well uh, because it has 160 characters these top guys are absolutely inspirational uh yeah, 116 characters there but then at the bottom we're gonna see uh 168 so we're almost close to the leaderboard but it's <coughs> it, it's good i don't want to leak leaderboard stuff here anyways because i i feel like that would ruin the entire point of doing css battles if all the solutions were <laughs> open sourced so to say yeah but that's uh this challenge i hope you liked it uh and i hope to see you in the next one have a great day. Bye-bye.